Why do these trees have funny looking hair? That's supposed to be fire. I'm making a model of the Hinkley Forest Fire that even a train couldn't outrun back in 1894. It burned 320,000 acres of trees. That doesn't happen anymore, does it? Well, we work hard to keep fires from growing to catastrophic sizes like that. Each year, the DNR and other public agencies fight about 1,500 fires to protect people and property. We try to prevent wildfires by educating children and adults about fire safety. We also use regulations, burning permits, and law enforcement to control fires. Because fire is nature's way of renewing some habitats for plants and animals, we let some fires burn if people and property aren't in danger. We even start controlled fires in certain areas to help habitats that depend on fire for renewal. Dad, would it be better if we didn't cut down the trees? The reason we cut or harvest trees is to make lumber, paper, and other forest products that we all want, which is a big part of Minnesota's economy. If we don't use the forests here to meet our needs, then more trees will be cut in other parts of the world, such as sensitive tropical rainforests, where there are fewer environmental controls and the fragile ecologies can be destroyed. We also cut trees here to create wildlife habitat or because they're damaged by insects and diseases. By cutting trees, we can renew the forests and help control the things that feed on the trees. Dad, doesn't the same thing happen when we cut trees here? There's a difference. Our forests are scientifically managed as a renewable resource that can be harvested and then regrown to be harvested again in the future. When forests are well managed, cutting trees to make forest products can actually benefit the forest. Harvesting can reduce the chance of wildfires and damage from insects and diseases. Harvesting also creates a mix of tree species and ages that benefit a wide variety of plant and animal species. Harvesting trees from state forests also supports local communities by creating economic activity. The funds that are earned help pay for schools, managing the forests, and other public services. But Dad, won't we use up the forests? No. The amount of trees cut is less than the number lost to wildfires and pests each year. To protect forest lands, the DNR manages them using guidelines developed by the Minnesota Forest Resources Council. The DNR also follows plans that help make sure we are managing our state forests to keep them growing long into the future. In addition, forests managed by the Minnesota DNR and some private landowners are certified as being well-managed. This helps people know that they are supporting environmentally sound and sustainable forestry when they buy Minnesota timber and forest products. Because they're a source of wood products, healthy, sustainable forests are more likely to be valued by the community and protected from development. Until they are used in some way, the trees make oxygen and store carbon, helping to fight global warming. Trees also provide wildlife habitat and recreational opportunities. How do you know if a forest is healthy? Do you have a doctor who talks to the trees? Well, not exactly a doctor. But we do have tree experts who track forest pests and who look at how conditions are changing in the forests. When you have more than 16 million acres of forest to manage, it takes a large-scale, continuous effort to keep track of the changes caused by nature and by people. The DNR uses satellite images, airplane surveys, and foresters walking on the ground to collect the information we need to manage Minnesota's forests. Besides looking at the species and sizes of the trees, we also consider the climate, geology, landscape, watersheds, soils, vegetation, and other characteristics of the area. Using these data, we can track statewide trends and guide foresters in the daily work of planting, thinning, and harvesting trees. This way, we can strike a balance between using our forests for timber and recreation and preserving the forests for their important contributions to the ecology of our state. This way, we make sure we are managing our forests in a way that maintains their important ecological values, while at the same time, meeting our growing needs for wood products and outdoor recreation. 
Our goal is to create a sustainable balance that lets us use the forests without using them up. That way we will have forests that will benefit you, your children, and your grandchildren. And their grandkids too? Yes, and their grandkids too. That's why we offer information and education programs to teach Minnesotans of all ages about the value of our forests. For example, we have a school forest program that helps schools set aside forests to serve as outdoor classrooms. There are now more than 100 of them in cities and rural areas. DNR and local foresters make sure the school forests are well managed. The DNR also provides advice, teaching materials, and forestry information to the schools in the program. The Division of Forestry is dedicated to keeping Minnesota's forests, both rural and urban, strong, healthy, and able to bring a full range of benefits to Minnesota's citizens today and 100 years from now. Being a forester sounds fun. Maybe I'll be one when I get bigger. Well, I'd be proud to have you follow in my footsteps. It's a very rewarding career. We need more foresters in Minnesota today because there is so much to take care of and balance. Planting, harvesting, development pressure, tree pests, and wildfires. Forests are a vital part of our state's future.